we're just really getting started and building out the team in earnest. Um, so we're not quite done yet. But then again, I guess just like products, no teams are ever really done, right? There's never ever a perfect state and teams are constantly evolving as well. So maybe what I'll do to answer this question is give you a little bit of philo my philosophy on what makes a really strong and resilient team. So I've worked in places before where UX was seemingly the bottleneck. And by that, I mean, there was this real pressure to just execute, to have designers on projects so that they could manufacture out wireframes or UIs, and then developers could build them. And then we could just ship. That's kind of where the pressure was. And so um, this was earlier in my career when I didn't, uh, <laughs> I've really felt that pressure. And in feeling that pressure, I hired a whole bunch of designers. The problem was, though, that they outgrew me pretty quickly. I was their sole lead. I had too many re direct reports, and I couldn't support them in the way that they needed. And so while we originally thought that the number of designers was the bottleneck in being able to ship great product to our customers, what we actually found out was that you can't just hire a bunch of ICs because then I became the bottleneck. So in taking a reflection from, from this particular scenario, I do believe that it's important to have strong foundation. We wouldn't build a house with just a whole bunch of windows because it's really important in a house to be able to see outside. First, you need to be able to build a strong foundation so that it can hold up walls with windows. So to that end, we've started by plotting out uh, a strong foundation to our UX organization at Humi. And that includes two UX leads who can then take on more ICs and designers and be able to support them in their craft, be able to give them feedback on an ongoing basis, be able to clear any roadblocks for those designers that join our team so that they can go ahead and do their best work. We also have a user research lead as a part of our organization. And this provides the opportunity to not just do great research, but do great research well in a way that we can scale and uh, disseminate that information quickly to the rest of the organization. I think sometimes the knee-jerk reaction is just get people in to do the do, but we don't realize when we have such lofty ambitions and places to go, it's really important to put some level of ops, leadership, and a strong foundation in place as well. So right now we are a small but mighty team of five, and we're in great position to be able to scale for the next couple of years, adding more and more designers and special, specialty roles to the team.